Hi everybody, it's Ramona again from Connect to Your Angels here with another weekly angel reading. Uh, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers that I have. Thanks for coming and if you like these be sure to pass it around and let other people know so they can subscribe too. Alright, so this is going to be the reading for September the 10th through to the 16th. And uh, as always, I will draw three cards. One will be for the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday. One for the middle, Wednesday, Thursday. And one for the end of the week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we'll go ahead and we'll shuffle the cards. I hope you guys are all doing great. It's still beautiful here in Calgary. We have a nice sunny day. We're supposed to be in the high 20s for this weekend. So it looks like summer's sticking around for a little bit more, which I'm really excited about. All right. For the beginning of the week, this one in the middle. Okay, so let's see what we get. All right, ooh, lots of good cards here. Okay, so the first card, this again is for, sorry, I know my camera keeps going in and out, it likes to try to focus. So the first card uh, for Monday, Tuesday is, I'll put on this side, Life Review. Can you see that? Life Review. And it's pretty much what the name is. It's about going back over all the parts of your life and just taking a really good uh, inventory. And I'll read you what the actual message says. It says that, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So most of the time people have a pretty good idea when something is not really working for them but again and I sound like a broken record this has come up before but it's true um, we like to hold on to things even when we know it's not really working for us or it's not serving us any good anymore or it's not doesn't really have a purpose and that's because of fear we are afraid to let go of stuff just because we don't know if you know something better is on the other side people will say it all the time I hate my job but I don't want to leave or look even sometimes look for another job because I just don't know if I'll even find something or you know the ego tells you all these things oh, I'm too old I'm not qualified and all these types of things right or people will say you know I kind of know this person in my life is not the right relationship for me but it's better than nothing you know I don't want to be by myself and I don't want to go through the whole dating thing again and blah 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 right so you know what I'm hearing it's just about that God doesn't want us to live a good enough life right we are here because he wants us to live an amazing life so it's a message from the angels that it's okay to let go of some of those things that don't work anymore because they'll always be there holding your hand they're never gonna leave you high and dry they will either heal a situation if it's not working or they'll bring you something better than what you already have. So don't, you know, I'm seeing this, don't be a chicken. It's okay. I know it's scary sometimes, but you have to trust and have the faith that they're there and they're helping you. So when I talk about life review though too, it's, you know, there's many different areas of your life, right? So it might be, you know, check in and see what's going on. Um, with the relationships in your life that can be you know family friends co-workers romantic relationships see where all that's at look at your career are you where you're at where you want that to be or could there be improvements um, what about your your general lifestyle you know what kind of life do you want to lead do you want to take lots of vacations you know is it are you doing those types of things um, what about your spirituality how is that working for you? Are there pieces that no longer really fit? It's okay to get rid of them, all that kind of stuff. So your health and wellness, um, not just physical health, but emotional health. Um, the card talks about resolving to change or heal something that's not working. So this is actually also about people who inside you, you know there's a part of you that needs to heal. Maybe you've been stuffing it down and stuffing it down and stuffing it down. and it's kind of like that volcano sooner or later it can't take anything anymore and you're just going to explode so resolve now to confront and deal with those issues um, you know you might want to look into psychiatric help and that is not a sign of weakness talking about things with another person is the most natural thing in the world and unfortunately it has a stigma where we think that you know if we have to go to see somebody we're weak and that's not the case at all it's good and it's healthy so you know if you feel you need to go see a therapist you know do that it could be energy work you might need some kind of Reiki treatment or body work 
that can help you heal as well or even you know things like acupuncture chinese medicine shamanic medicine there's so many options so just check in with yourself and see what feels right and resolve to take the steps that you need instead of putting it off and putting it off okay they're done with me on that <laughs> all right so middle of the week wednesday thursday it's time to step it up folks it's about leadership and this is archangel gabriel on here the messenger angel who's calling you now see this trumpet in here where am i this trumpet you're being called to step it up step up into the leadership position that you deserve and that uh it's time now that's exactly i think what this card that's what the card says it says it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others so if you're looking for more of a you know leadership position at work this might be the time to have that discussion with your boss or other authority figures um, perhaps you have been in that position for a while but you haven't been compensated for it so now it's time to have that discussion that you need to be compensated um, it could be in another realm maybe in terms of volunteering different things that you might do that in that realm or like groups that you belong to you might be moving up into taking some kind of a position of leadership on a board or something like that um, but this is something you don't want to procrastinate on anymore because as you know divine timing plays such a big role in everything and the angels work really hard to line it all up so it works out for us um, so when they're saying it's time that means it's time now they've they've got all the pieces there you don't want to procrastinate anymore jump on it okay you may already be feeling those nudges you know it's you sort of been feeling pulled or like I said called you know the sign of the trumpet you're being called or drawn to do something so now um, please take the action steps that you need to do to move forward with that um, that's the only way the angels can help us folks we still have to do the legwork okay they can't just knock on the door and go here you go you know um, they give us the guidance and it's up to us to follow through and if you don't follow through well then you know that's back on you so middle of the week take your move make your move towards that leadership position all right end of the week friday saturday sunday so this is the what would that be 14th 15th 16th it's about sensitivity again Oop, put it over here oh, oh. <laughs> like kind of computer or camera dyslexic okay sensitivity there we go see this nice little angel sitting in her garden with the harp there saying you're extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now honor yourself and your feelings and uh yeah archangel honey it was funny because just when i was um tuning into this card i was feeling you know the moon and i think the new moon is around the 16th 17th around there and haniel archangel haniel has long been associated with the moon so tune in to maybe you want to work with the energy of this new moon to uh, to work on manifestation things that you are working or wanting to draw into your life so sit down it's part of your life review you know while you're realizing things that you want to get rid of at the same time you can be thinking about you know what you want to work on and draw into your life and so um, put that out there this weekend and um, ask Archangel Honey out uh, with that actually as well as your own guardian angels but again it's a reminder um, for sensitive people um, to really be careful about making sure you're shielding yourself all the time again it wears off uh, so every 12 hours or so you kind of need to reinvoke that and again simple um, I use Archangel Michael and we just say Archangel Michael I call upon you now I ask you to please encircle me in the white light of God's love and divine protection you can use all kinds of different colors of light you can layer them um, you can ask for white and then you can ask for pink which is for love and nothing but love can um, permeate that shield uh, I've got some information that I've posted before on my Facebook page about all the different colors and what they mean so if you want to check that out it's uh, my Facebook is connect to the number two your angels um, and you'll have to go back a little bit to find that um, but yeah so work with uh, work with the new moon the energy there um, you know this is really to a message to anybody out there if you are a teacher a counselor um, you know anybody that works in that capacity where you're helping other people really make sure you're shielding yourself because 
what can happen is you take on the energy from those clients that's why there's a huge amount of burnout in those fields people just you know they're they're taking that on and it's if you don't know how to deal with that correctly um, it can just create all kinds of havoc lots of fatigue and um, stress in the body and it can manifest in physical ways so really pay attention to this as I said if you work in any kind of a helping counseling uh, job or even if you do it sort of informally but a lot of it informally so you know pay extra spe special attention to that uh, the end of this week so that's it for the cards I just wanted to remind some of you um, if you haven't seen I think I'm saying I'm a lot anyway uh, if you haven't seen some of my posts on Facebook or if you're not subscribed and you don't get all my emails I want to just to let you know about a really cool special I'm doing this month. Uh, so Doreen Virtue, who, as you know, is sort of the angel authority worldwide, um, she has created a really cool deck of angel tarot cards in conjunction with Radley Valentine. And so a lot of people get nervous when they hear tarot, you know, because some of the symbolism on the traditional tarot cards is not so loving and warm even though it's not you know it's not saying anything bad but people get freaked out by the imagery on them so she's created this beautiful deck of angel tarot cards and i've recently started working with them so i'm offering a really neat special this month to give you guys a chance to experience this it's a angel tarot reading uh, which consists of 10 cards and i'm offering it at half price so it's 25 dollars for the reading and September's usually a really busy month, especially if you're a parent. You've got kids going back to school. They've got all their activities starting up. And I'm getting really busy again, so I'm offering it via email. So basically, if you're interested, you can email me at spiritualmailman, all one word, at connect to, again, the number two, connect to your angels.com. Let me know you're interested. I'll put you in the order of priority. And I'm just working through all the people there. You can make a payment by PayPal or by e-money transfer um, and do it that way. So it's pretty easy. You don't even have to be a PayPal member or what do you call it, subscriber to use PayPal. It's very simple. And yeah, we're working through the list and it's they've been really great. I've been getting lots of great feedback. There's a lot of information in those 10 cards, let me tell you. It's like, you know, I'm almost getting carpal tunnel typing it all out for people, but uh, you will be amazed. It's really cool because it kind of tells you the heart of the situation you know what's holding you back what's been the past leading up to the situation what's happening right now how it's likely to unfold and all that kind of stuff so lots and lots of neat neat perspectives so if you're interested as i said send me an email it's uh spiritual mailman at connect your angels.com so that's it for this week everybody thank you again for tuning in um, I'm going to be busy on Sunday celebrating International Angel Day at uh, our Angel Center here in Calgary doing a workshop. Uh, there may still be space at other workshops. Pe um, angel therapy practitioners around the world do this, so you can go on Doreen Virtue's website, which is angeltherapy.com, click Certified Angel Therapy Practitioners, and then look up um, your area, and you can get a whole list of emails of people who do what I do. And you can email them and see if they're doing a workshop if you're interested in participating. So, love to get comments and feedback. If you'd like to post anything on Facebook, I'd love to hear that. Or you can post it on YouTube or you can email me. And uh, have a great week. We will see you back next uh, weekend. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.